Saints would welcome in the Jaguars of Augusta State for a three-game set final Peach Belt Conference Series of the 2011 campaign. Saints need at least two of them in order to have a chance to go to the conference tournament. Early on with the hit and run on, Terrell Jones with the ground ball through the left side. That'll find enough space to bring home a run, and the Saints have the early lead, one to nothing. Let's go now to the bottom of the third inning. Kenny Bellavance at the dish, runners at second and third, ground ball up the middle. That'll bring home two. Saints with a big inning here. Dustin Carpenter with an RBI single and an error by Augusta State would also bring home another run. Five to nothing, Saints on top. Blake Hobby, the starter. He would go eight full innings. He would get 11 punch outs just surrendering five hits and no runs. Hobby was nasty as usual. Bottom of the fifth inning now. Bellavant said it again. He's starting to swing the bat hot down the back stretch of the season. The sophomore with another home run. This one a no doubter to left. And the Saints continue to pour it on now as they get another big inning. Jordan Ayersman with a double down the left side. Eight to nothing Saints. Jordan would also finish the day with a home run. Reese Patton in the ninth inning would shut down the Augusta State bats from there. North Georgia with a 15 to nothing win in game number one. Game two now between the two teams battling for the fourth seed in the Peach Belt Conference Tournament coming up in a couple of weeks. Early on is Kevin Dotson with a ground ball to the left side. He will be thrown out at first base, but that's enough to bring home an Augusta State run. They take the one to nothing lead. Alan Fredrickson, a ground ball to the right side. Tristan Torrey, the Jags first baseman, comes home with it, and Carpenter slides just in front of the tag. We're tied at one. Bases loaded now, bottom of the six. It's Brad Hall at the dish, a line drive right back up the middle, and look what I found. Scott Shipman, who would get the complete game four hitter with a snag there, and the Saints would fall your final three to one. Let's go now to game three, and let's set the stage for you. Augusta State 10-13 and 13 in conference play, North Georgia 9-14, and 14. so the Saints have to win here in order to have a chance to have the tiebreaker over Augusta State to go to the tournament. In the top half of the first inning, Horanahan with a drive to left, it gets over the head of Dustin Carpenter, 1-0 Augusta State, Rice in with a fly ball in the left field, no man's land, 2-0 Augusta State, it's not looking good for the Saints. Jacob Rickett in out of the pen. Bases loaded, nobody out, and he somehow gets out of it unscathed, retiring the next three he faced. So it's two to nothing. Momentum starting to shift now towards the Saints. Offensively, let's see if the bats can get it going. Bottom of the third, Terrell Jones. Seeing eye ground ball to left. That'll spark it. Two runs come in for the Saints in the inning, and they tie it up two apiece. Bottom of the fifth now. Kenny Bellavance up the middle. Yes, sir. Saints take the lead. First time in the ballgame, three to two and the crowd holding their breath here in a pivotal game in Peach Belt Conference play. Still a one run game in the eighth. Terrell Jones into right field. Ayersman racing home and he will score. Instant replay shows that even without the slide, Ayersman was able to get the foot down on the bag before the tag and the Saints have a two run cushion to play with. Some argument by the Jags goes by the wayside. Saints take a five to three lead to the ninth and Jacob Rickett wouldn't have it any other way. Strike out will end the game and the Saints are heading to the Peach Belt Conference Tournament. They win five to three. Here's head coach Tom Cantrell on his hurler, Jacob Rickett. What a great job! And threw 108 pitches, and you know, and struck out 12 guys. And, you know, only gave up three hits and one unearned run. And, you know, I was thinking about pulling him in the ninth, honestly. You know, because he threw so many pitches, leaving. And he he told me, he said, you, know, "You sit right over there. I've got the ninth." So you know, uh, uh, you know, he did a great job. And I mean, all the credit goes to him and the whole team. You know, for finding a way uh, uh, to put ourselves in a position to go to the conference tournament. Had all the confidence in the world to throw strikes when you got defense like we've got making plays, so it just made it easy for me. Jacob, this is one of the biggest moments of your four year career here in North Georgia. Oh, by far, it definitely is. The senior got the win in game three, going eight full innings with 12 punch outs for Jacob Rickett. How about Jordan Ayersman? Five of 12, a home run, triple, two doubles. He had the cycle. Blake Hobby, eight innings pitch, no runs, five hits, 11 punch outs. Kenny Bellavance, seven of 14, a home run with four runs batted in. The Saints will take on Emory on Tuesday night, then it's King College coming up the following weekend. All those games right here on the North Georgia Saints Broadcast Network.